Following on the heels of a sharp pre-dawn bombardment, the attack began in heavy fog which grounded Allied air power. Progress was slow in the northern Munchau area, but one battle group under Joachim Piper of the 1st SS Panzer Corps penetrated deep into U.S. lines and by the end of the day was racing for the Meuse bridges. The German 5th Army smashed through the lines of the 106th Division, but faced a harder task against the experienced 28th Division. Confusion reigned in Allied ranks as German soldiers disguised in U.S. uniforms infiltrated their lines. It was not until the afternoon that Allied High Command realized that the attack was more than a feint and began to organize reinforcements. After two days, only Piper's battle group remained unchecked and continued to make significant progress in the north. But it wasn't easy. The enemy's skillful blowing up of bridges, in addition to the debilitating wintry conditions, made it increasingly difficult for them to reach the Meuse quickly. Meanwhile, Eisenhower met with Bradley, Devers, and Patton at Verdun. The plan was to turn Bastogne into a fortress city where the German offensive would be stopped. Patton was to counterattack in the south by turning his troops 90 degrees, creating a hammer to Bastogne's anvil. Indeed, Patton had already begun preparations to do so. On December 19th, the 101st Airborne Division was able to reinforce Bastogne when von Manteuffel failed to reach his destination quickly enough. In the north, Piper was also repeatedly frustrated in obtaining his objective when his drive to the Meuse continued to meet heavy resistance. The battle plan had called for a quick strike into French territory, but the aggressive American defense frustrated the Germans. The slow progress began having an effect on the entire German army creating vast fuel shortages. Three days later, Piper's battle group still had not made any progress. He was cut off from the rest of the German army. Meanwhile, von Monteufel finally surrounded Bastogne, but the Allied forces refused to surrender, though von Monteufel's armored spearheads drove west in all directions, deep into the Allied lines, searching for a junction that led him north toward the Meuse and left the Bastogne forces completely isolated. By the end of the 24th, Monteufel's army stood just short of Marsh on the Meuse. This was the high watermark of the German offensive. It was at this moment that Patton began to attack from the south, and the weather cleared sufficiently for the Allies to be able to finally use their air power. On the day after Christmas, just ten days after the Battle of the Bulge began, Bastogne was relieved by the U.S. 4th Armored Division. Wacht am Rhein had failed. While von Manteuffel still tried during the next few days to drive the Americans back and secure Bastogne, Patton's increasing pressure from the south proved too much, and the offensive collapsed. Commander, your failure to stop the German advance has not gone unnoticed. The Germans tore us to shreds! You are relieved of your command. Dismissed! Commander, your performance in this operation was adequate. You were able to limit the German advance, but your counterattack was feeble at best. While headquarters isn't exactly overwhelmed with you, you did manage to stop the advance. So they're going to put you back out there again. Congratulations, Commander. Not bad for a couple of days' work. Your performance in this operation has not gone unnoticed. You limited the German advance and launched a successful counterattack. You've earned a promotion. Now make sure you tell your assistant commanders they are to be commended for their performance. All right, here's the skinny. Effective immediately, you are to proceed to Paris for a well-deserved week of R&R after which you will personally join Patton's command staff. Good job, Commander, and congratulations. Congratulations, Commander, an outstanding victory. Your excellent grasp of strategy and tactics completely overwhelmed the enemy. Your superior performance in this operation has not gone unnoticed. Ike himself was raving about you. You halted the German advance and launched a successful counterattack, recapturing all lost ground.
What's more, you managed to do this while maintaining acceptable losses. You're getting a promotion for this one, Commander. Effective immediately. You are to proceed to Paris for a much-deserved two weeks of R&R, after which you will personally join General Eisenhower's command staff. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. You've earned it. Commander, your dismal failure has cost Germany dearly. Your officers are being transferred to the Eastern Front. You have been ordered to Berlin at once for interrogation and trial. These men will escort you back to Berlin. Goodbye. Commander, your performance has not gone unnoticed at headquarters. You failed to achieve mission objectives. Your men are being reassigned to other commanders, and you are volunteering for duty on the East Front. Congratulations, Commander. Your excellent performance has not gone unnoticed at headquarters. You gained significant ground and held it against a determined American counteroffensive. You have earned a promotion, and your assistant commanders are to be commended for their performance. After which you will report to CNC West for elite unit battle training. Ah, congratulations on your glorious victory, Commander. Your excellent grasp of strategy and tactics completely overwhelmed the enemy. Your name is on the lips of everyone at headquarters. You achieved all operational objectives with minimal losses. And you prevented the enemy from launching a successful counterattack. You and your assistant commanders have earned promotions. Effective immediately, you will personally report to General Rundstedt to plan the recapture of France. It is a glorious day for Germany, and our country owes you a great deal. Congratulations, Commander.